God is love and if you live in love, God lives in you. My name is Catherine. Welcome to another episode of Divine This Week, where the streams of living water will refresh your souls. Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us believe that the power of the blood of Jesus will touch and heal every inner wound. The Word of God is alive and active. And for every circumstances in your life, God has a word for you. So let us listen to his voice, let us listen to this talk, and let us treasure his word in our heart. Our mother Mary, she did this. Like Mary, treasure God's word in our heart and rejoice over it. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth. As the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit will lead us to the whole truth. Now the question, what is the whole truth about anything? What's the whole truth about anything? The whole truth about anything is God's plan, right? God revealed through prophet Jeremiah 29, 11, I have a plan for you, a plan for your good future, for your prosperity. Everything happening to us is an unfolding, an unfolding of the plan of God. And therefore, every incident, every experience that happens to us is to be understood in the context of the big plan, the great plan, the grand plan of God for our life. We have come to uh, ask the Lord and thank and praise Him uh, for all the blessings in our life and uh, guidance in doing uh, His mission throughout uh, our life. And today in this retreat, we were given knowledge by the Holy Spirit and guidance by the Holy Spirit to go, go how, how and how about and to save souls. So we are grateful for all the um, opportunities here and for all the blessings God has given us and pouring of the Holy Spirit in us to know and understand the Word of God and to uh, meet the people in His name. Are we aware of the signs of God's presence in our individual life? God is acting in our individual life. With so many events that are taking place in our life, God is trying to speak something to us. Are we observing it? Or are we giving ear to all that voice of the Holy Spirit? Or are we just moving with the current? Without being, being, having any knowledge of what those signs are. One tendency today is this, we are expecting a sign which is impressive. That's one tendency of the people today. We are not able to see the sign of God in an ordinary event of life. We all are expecting great miracles to say that God is working in our life. But often, God is also working through very normal things on an ordinary event that has taken place in our life. I had come here two years back when I was in darkness, I had nothing in life. My mommy, my daddy, my sisters was worried about my future and my life. After coming to Divine, the Lord had touched me and I got a beautiful job in cruise line. And recently I just got married and we are here to come to take God's blessing and our future planning. I praise and thank God. Sometimes, you know, when you go for Mass, 
especially when I go for mass in my parish or one of the parishes, I wonder why we are so dead. And we think being pious is being dead. When we open the Bible, we realize being dead is not being anywhere near God. If you're not connected to God, you will be dead. You will sit in church dead, tired. You will sit in church waiting for the mass to get over. You will be sitting in, in a retreat waiting for the sessions to get over. All you want is a little bit of, you know, what you came for. I came, I want a message. I want this healing. I want my husband to change. I want my wife to change. I want my children to change. We need to be much more than that. We need to be people who are alive. And this is the purpose why Jesus came. John 10, 10, he says, I come that you may have life and life in all its fullness. And for this, he's ready to give us the Holy Spirit. The mission of Jesus is that you and I have the Holy Spirit. And he tells us, this is the purpose of your prayer. What are you praying for? Graduate. He says, when you pray, seek the kingdom of God. Matthew 6, 33. Seek first the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? Romans 14, 17 says, it is the righteousness, peace and joy of the Holy Spirit. The righteousness, peace and joy of the Holy Spirit. You seek the Holy Spirit. Seek the experience of the Holy Spirit and then the word of God says, everything else shall be added unto you. I have come with my family and my father had a sickness and it was healed in the healing prayer. And so I thank God very much. The God's word I have learned here and I listened to it and it was very much good and the things which I don't know, I came to know. And I love the class for in the children's section. Jesus was the man without sin, isn't he? And he was baptized by a man who was also having one sin. What does that teach us? If you want your spirit awakened, you have to humble yourself. Now, humbling yourself before God is not a problem. You can do it, I can do it. How is that? You know, God, you have the blessed sacrament here. You stretch yourself out and humble yourself. But God says, you know, humble yourself before me by humbling yourself in front of the blessed sacrament only. But by humbling yourself, at the feet of others whom you perceive as inferior to you. St. Francis Xavier, prior to his death, gazed at the crucifix and said, In thee, O Lord, have I put my hope. Let me never be confounded. So do not be discouraged. Put your hope on God. Look at the blessed sacrament and worship Jesus. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Holy Spirit, come with your Let your fire fall. Come, Holy Spirit. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you refine my heart. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, purify my heart. Holy Spirit, purify my heart. Holy Spirit, purify my heart. Come, Holy Spirit, let your fire fall. Let your fight fall. Let 
something fantastic about this place it's awesome and during the blessed sacrament when the Jesus is exposed I see various visions of him and the happiest one was when he was looking at all of us and smiling and that gave me a lot of confidence uh, spirituality and every time when I asked Jesus for help while here I'm in Porta, my wish has been granted with, like as if I'm picking up the phone and talking to Jesus. He's so close and I must say this, I cannot live without him. The earlier time when I came, I used to always keep crying, 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 and only I used to cry. The second time the same thing had happened to me. And uh, this time when I came, I felt like, you know, they even uh, except in front of the Blessed Sacrament, I, w I was able to cry of joy and not a tear I, I, I shed. And I was so happy, I, I felt like, you know, I was the bottom of the sea and I've been just taken up and, you know, I'm, I'm feeling so light. Um, I, I really cannot explain that how light I'm feeling. I'm able to do so many things and my mind says to you, do many more things. Do not be worried when you face problems in your life. The Lord is at hand. He is close to you and he loves you and he has called each one of you by your name. And he knows everything that is happening with your life. Here at Divine, we have so many miracles that takes place for the retreatants. Listen to the testimonies and be strengthened in your faith. And ask God and he will help you. Uh, two years ago, I had a fall. Uh, and I had an MRI x-ray and all. I have a hip fracture and I was supposed to go for an operation. But... Um, I started walking with a stick for two years, and the pain gradually grew uh, very painful. On Tuesday, I shared with my Singaporean friends who were with me, telling them I could touch my toes. This evening after the prayer, I can even lift my leg up. For the last two years, I lost my taste and smell, and I've been following the Divine Mercy right from Perth. And this afternoon, during lunch break, fasting and praying, I was saying the rosary, and I could get the smell of smoke coming through the window. This evening, I got the incense, and then I decided to go out and taste an ice cream, and I could taste the ice cream, the chocolate and cream. So praise God. I had a snoring problem, which I didn't know about it, but my neighbor said the very next day, it has been okay. I mean, my hearing problem also is much better, and I thank the Lord for healing me. Several months, I had a pain here, near the, in, in the stomach. And I went to doctor, so he did, uh, he said to uh, do colonoscopy, endoscopy and uh, ultrasound. Then they find there is an ulcer and I have a fatty liver and all. So, but I doesn't care about that, but I came here for my confession. In the inner healing time, I don't know, I feel like uh, my stomach started paining and swelling. Well, uh, and I, I thought that I am getting healed. That time, priest said, uh, priest called the name. At that time, my name was there. Through the talks, God spoke to me, and I also received physical healing. Um, the stiffness on my shoulder has gone, and I was able to raise up my hands to give praise to the Lord. So I thank the Lord for the healing. Um, the retreat was really good. Um, the teachers that taught us, taught us very meaningful things, and... Um, now I know more about the Bible and Jesus. Uh, last 16 years, God led me to s several countries of the world to give me inner healings. 
And today I was touched in an area of loneliness. And this was uh, throughout my whole life I suffered this. And now I am thanking God for that healing. I had a knee pain suddenly which developed uh, four months back. All of a sudden I used to get a jerk pain when I used to walk. Uh, when I used to drive the car, after some time when I step out of the car, I used to get that knee pain occasionally, not regularly. But I find after coming to Divine, now I don't have that pain at all in the leg. Praise the Lord. Having been here these few days, uh, many things have happened in my life and I've experienced a change within and what has really touched me was the act of faith of the people here wanting to seek God's glory and wanting to believe. I claim for myself my neck, my back and my knees and to my surprise the pain in my back subsided by about 50% and I understand it to be a gradual progressive healing and my neck and my knee pain completely disappeared. And furthermore, through the preaching of the ministers and through Father, I have actually come to deepen my faith and actually begin to feel that God is acting in my life. So I'm very appreciative and I recommend this to those who would like to deepen their faith and experience God's love. We are here with uh, 31 of our friends from Singapore. We thank God for these blessings upon our family and we ask of you, all those who are watching this video, that even if you are going through a very tough time, which we did as well before we found God, and that led us to take a big leap and give God a chance and give ourselves a chance to seek this happiness. We thank God and in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. The psalmist says, Praise God, all you people of all the nations. So no matter where you are, praise God. Come along with us, join with us and praise God. Here at Divine, we have praise and worship. And as you praise God along with us, you will be filled with God's love and His joy. And God dwells in the praises of His people. So come, let us rejoice in the Lord and praise God. Where two or more are gathered in His name, He is there. For all who come who run to Him in faith, He is there. Lifting your hands to there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power, power in His name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power, power in His name. No fear, no lie can stand against us now. He is He. Silence every doubt. He is he. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power, power in his name. Lift your hands, proclaim. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power, power in his name. One name, one name can say, one name breaks every chain, one name always, one name Jesus, one name, one name remains, one name we will proclaim, one name always, there is power in the name of Jesus, there is power. Power in His name, proclaim. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power.
power in his name. It's been wonderful being with you all through this episode, Divine This Week. And I invite you to Divine to experience God's love and power flow into your life. Welcome. Let's meet in the next episode. Till then, stay blessed. And you are the light of the world. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.